You can ask me a question, I can respond for two minutes, and then you can respond for one. We talked about this. And we can go back and forth this way. Or we could, we could save that for the questions, the Q&A at the end, for the people. Or what we can do is uh, just have a discussion. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Well, I think it would probably be good if we just do question and answers. Um, that way we try to keep it somewhat organized and we don't get all too excited and try to talk over each other. I'll be polite. Um, the words, is your answer that are still the, damned? Are they saved without the blood of Jesus? No, they're not. Are you sa telling me that they're saved? Yeah. They're, they're, look, I, I asked you directly. Are they damned before they got water baptized? People here. You, are they still damned? That they're, they cannot be saved without the blood of Jesus. So you just condemn them because the blood of Jesus is, is in water guards of baptism, Romans 6. No, Romans 6, you get completely wrong because you don't understand federal headship, what it means to die with Christ, to be crucified with Christ, because he was crucified 2,000 years ago. How could we be crucified with Christ if we didn't live yet? This is what you don't understand, biblical theology. And the reason you don't understand biblical theology is because you're stuck in this stupid Church of Christ thing, which has got you hamstrung. I'll be polite. Um, because you can't progress in your theology beyond what... I'll be polite. Um... They have narrowly taught you. This is why you don't understand federal headship. You don't understand hypostatic union, apparently. I'll be polite. Um, you don't understand that we're justified by faith alone through Christ alone. You don't understand what, what uh, James chapter 2 is talking about and justification before people. You mix up the idea of what total depravity is. You don't understand right. that either. Right. I'll be polite. Um, There's a lot you don't get. I've, I'm trying I've, to ask you a question, and you can't give me a straight answer. Uh, you're telling me that these people were in a state of damnation before they got water. I'll be polite. Um, I'll be a gentleman. If you got a, if you got a question, you can go and uh, sure, we, we can go through these. I got a lot of questions. Okay, here you go. You ready? I got a question for you. Okay. Are we justified by faith when we have faith, or are we not justified by faith when we have faith? To, to answer that question, it's kind of like what he mentioned about what type of faith. Well, Matt has already explained that faith uh, is in categories. And uh, he mentioned, mentioned uh, sentia faith is just uh, maybe just believing. And then what was the other faith you said? In Fiducia is real faith. That's what I'm talking about, real faith. Okay. okay. And he says the real faith. Well, uh, he also explained when... When he was discussing this with Scott, I don't remember his last name, around 37 minutes. He said, I keep saying the same thing. Hebrews 11, 1. By the definition, you went to Hebrews 11. And Not in that verse, Hebrews. yeah. But then the and entire so, verse, the entire chapter unpacks what that means. By faith, Abraham built the Because they had the true faith. Ah, true so faith see, results in something. But he says true faith results in something. something. So I believe that you're justified by faith, but when we define what faith is, it is uh, believing in what God says to do to be saved and basically trusting God. You know, a lot of people will say trust in God, but they don't do what he says. Uh, so, yes, you're justified by faith, but not not faith alone because then you contradict James and you contradict grace and you contradict the blood of Jesus and there's other things that save. So, yes, you're justified by faith and obedient faith. Um, you didn't answer the question. I said, well, are we justified by faith when we have faith or not justified by faith when we have faith? The answer is either yes or no. See, there's, it's, a, it's called a, um, a, a dichotomy. By faith, Abraham because built the ark. Because they had true faith. Ah, true so faith see. results in something. Now it's my turn to ask the question. Oh. I mean, we can go back and forth on that question. But go ahead. The same Your question. Thing. Go ahead. Is it's, a, it's an obedient faith? It's a faith that obeys. Um, let's see here. 